growing up like in high school and stuff and even the beginning of college I thought I was going to do something STEM related because my high school is very math and science-y and uh, it was kind of boring it really was um uh but this I'm not humanities anymore I'm, or I mean I'm not STEM anymore I'm poli sci so it has graphs too and they're also pretty boring also but I I've noticed that higher education isn't very creative. It's very systematic, researchy. You just use the same methods that you always use to get different data, and you represent it in pretty much the same way because it's just the easiest for everybody. Like people just use graphs. I don't know. Um, but this project made me realize that that's. It doesn't necessarily have to be that way. People just represent data that way because they it's easy. It's what people normally do, so people just keep doing it. But their data made me realize that that doesn't have to be the case. Like, there's no reason that data has to be boring. Like, I drew a picture, and it was really fun, and I feel like it makes it kind of... It's fun to read it. It's way more fun to read that than a bar graph or a pie chart or a line graph or anything. And... I feel like it could be beneficial because if I saw that graph, like that postcard that I made in like third or fourth or fifth grade, I would have been way more psyched and more inclined to like learn about numbers and data and science and math and stuff than if I see a boring pie chart. <laughs>